Alright, so good evening. I'm currently out in the field taking pictures. You can see the northern lights behind me actually. It's been quite a good show tonight. But not here not this video's not here for talking about the northern lights. That can be other videos. This video is to talk about my new presets that I've finally been able to launch. I've been working on them for the past few weeks now, trying to make them perfect, and finally I'm able to put them out there and launch a good set of astral presets. So these presets are designed for astrophotography in particular, whether it's Milky Way, Orion, Northern Lights, Noctiles and Clouds, Sunrises, Sunsets, um, Moonrises, Moonsets, Astro Selfies, some light, pol well, r light pollution reduction, noise reduction. So all these presets are designed specifically for whatever is in your image. So the way they work is I've built 10 presets for whatever is in your image. So if you went out taking pictures of the Milky Way, then there's 10 presets already built for the Milky Way in your image. So what that'll do is it'll bring out the, the contrast and the detail in the Milky Way. If you're taking pictures of Northern Lights, the Northern Lights presets will enhance the green and a wee bit of the structure. Um, if you're taking pictures of the Noctilus and Clouds and choose the Noctilus and Clouds presets, it will increase the blues and the, the whites and the texture in the Noctilus and Clouds. For moon, moon rises, moon sets, it adjusts the white balance, so the highlights of the bright moon and the, fore and the dark foreground, it'll counteract that and make it a nice flat image. So it's all from personal experience as well, and it's how, how I now edit my pictures. So I personally use these presets. So if you like the way I edit my pictures, this is what I use now, because sometimes I can take hundreds of pictures throughout the night and I can't be bothered really editing every single, single picture. So these are the presets that I use now. I've built them for me and I may as well kind of put them out there. So if you fancy it yourself, feel free to download it and edit pictures just like me as well. So the presets are designed for Lightroom Classic and the Lightroom CC, the newest versions of them. The presets are very easy to download, but I'll explain more of that at the end of the video on how to download it. It's just a zip file that you import into your chosen software, but that'll be the end of the video. So all my presets will be listed right beside me here. So there's Milky Ways, Noctiles and Clouds, Sunrises, yada yada, as I've said. There's over 70 presets, I'm not sure exactly what the number is. Over 70 presets that I've all built handmade myself, so feel free to check them out. And now I shall go back to home, back to the laptop, and show you how to apply the presets to your images, as they're just a one-click wonder, pretty much. You just one-click it, and that's your image transformed, no matter what your picture is. So all the all the Lightroom presets are have no noise reduction in them because noise is in every nighttime picture, and they've got built-in light pollution reduce reducing in it as well. They're just the perfect astral presets because they're just one click and you're away, you're done. So yeah, I shall jump into the house to the laptop and show you how to use it onto your images. So that's me back home now, beside the laptop, and now I'm going to show you how easy it is to adjust the presets to your raw images. So you'll go out, take your raw images, pop them into Lightroom, and this is how easy it is to apply my presets to your images. So all my presets are all adjusted for whatever is in your subject. Uh, most of these have got light pollution reduction in them, except the sunrises and sunsets, because you don't get light pollution in the day, really, or the noctiles and clouds. There's not much light pollution in there. So all the deep sky, dark ones, they've got light pollution reduction, and most of these presets have got the noise reduction. So yeah, so whatever you photographed, the presets are designed for that subject. So we've got 55, I've loaded in 55 raw images here. So hopefully, if you've imported my presets, this should just be on the left here, under presets, and you'll see them all down there. I think there's 74 or 76 of them. Can't remember again. Um, and they're all ready to go. They're all in alphabetical order as well, just so you know how to navigate around them. Right, so this one first is Orion. So we go to constellations, it's a bright constellation, and we go through. So you just sift through them just like this. And liking you just slowly go through them all. Actually that number four. Four, I think that's good. 
and I'll put, pop a comparison as well, let you can see the difference, it brings out the shadows, puts a bit of blue in the night skies and reduces a wee bit of the light pollution. Right, next one, Aurora, so we we'll go up to Aurora, and then just sift through them all. Oh, I like that one. Oh, it's a wee bit darker. So, so some of the presets will work fantastically on the pictures. Some of the presets will just not look good compared to that image. But if you go to another, say for example, I bet you this Aurora 8 looks doesn't that great for that one. But I bet you in another Aurora shot that'll look amazing. So it's always worth just going through them all. They're all designed for different brightnesses of the pictures, different amounts of say Aurora or different amounts of Noxels and Clouds. So that's why I've created 10. 10 separate settings for that subject. So I was liking one at the start. Aurora 2, perfect. And there we go. This one, another wee Aurora 1. Seven. Go with that one, that looks good. Moonrise, right, so we go down to Moonrise, moon sets. It's so a bright. Oh, that looks good there. So it just saves all that faffing about with all the settings. If you're newbie to editing, this is the way to go. It's easier. I like that. That looks awesome. Perfect. There we go. That was before and that was after, just by one click. Sunrise, sunsets. Right, let's go for. Oh, that already looks better. I'll speed it up a wee bit. Three looks perfect. Right, a moonrise, moon set. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Try me up. There we go. Oh, I kind of like that one. Yeah, I'll go for that one. Here's a panorama at Loch Ern. So this is you could put. Uh, this could go, fall under Milky Way or constellations. I'd rather the constellations pop in this, so I'm going to use the constellations presets. Oh, I like that one there. That one looks good for that. And look at that, lovely. I'm going to put them just there we go, just so we can see what it really does now as well. It's Milky Way, we'll go down to Milky Way. No. 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 Oh, that one looks good there. Oh, that one there. Milky Way 7 for that one, perfect. Here's another Milky Way one. Well, this is probably one of my favourite images. Taking it our growth. Oh, that's a good one there. That was that number 7. Oh, number 4 looks good. I think number 4. Number 4, pretty nice. And even you can save that's really good and you want, oh, I want a wee bit more you can then just use that preset and then set what you want. So say if I want to add a wee bit more dehaze to it or clarity, you can do that also. So it's all, all the preset settings I've already done, the noise reduction's already done, you can adjust it to how you please. Noctilus and Clouds, here we go, go down to where's Noctilus and Clouds, here we go, 10 of these. This will be a good one for comparing it. Noctilus and oh, oh, that one looks good. So in the Noctilus and Clouds one, the twilight sky colours come through a wee bit more. So I've added more of the orange and the blues, because it's just an awesome, nice, warm, summer feeling colour. There goes that one look good. That'll probably... Look at that. Look at the difference in that, just with one click. Perfect. Here's a kind of a panorama with Noctilus and Clouds. Oh, that one looks good. Obviously I'm speeding through these just to see how just to show you what it looks like for many pictures but you can take your time and slowly go through them all what was that one at the start? perfect, that looked good um, so this is constellations, I want constellations to pop a wee bit more look at that, look at the difference, I'll pop it widescreen oh look at that instantly so you can see here maybe the light pollution you can see it's really bright there, and then watch this side here, it'll still be there, I can't get rid of it, it's impossible to physically get rid of it, but it should just reduce a wee bit, look at that, there you go, so it's more blue, and the colours are just so much better, there we go, so we'll go back to full scale, 
Uh, here's a moonlight site, uh, moonlight scene. Go to moonlight. So, so that's what it looks like normal. Nice, nice. I think that one looks a good one. Nice, nice. That was the one near the start. That one, awesome. Here's a panorama over Bukalet of more of the moonlight. Let's see what this can do. Oh, there we go, go for that one. I'll skip a wee bit for more. Milky Way. Milky Way. If we see that Milky Way just pop a wee bit more. If we put that into compare. Oh, look at that. Stunning. Oh, I like that. There we go. You can see that. All that clarity in the sky. Here's a nice star reflections over Loch Morlach. Milky Way. Oh, look at that. There we go. I'll go with that one. That one looks awesome. And right, I'll skip forward to some. Here's some. Even if you go up to Norway or photograph loads of northern lights up Iceland, Norway, and the Arctic, they even work for that. So there we go. That. Maybe a bit too green. Structure. star I like. That one. I like that. Nice. And then you, you can crop it how you please as well. Oh, more northern lights. Oh, you can tell I like the northern lights more than anything. To be honest with you, that one's nice and clean. Go to maybe that one. Oh, look at this. Oh, about it. Right, so this is a bright one. So remember that one that looked pretty awful for the for the other Northern Lights picture, I think it was Aurora 8. Watch this one bit. There we go. See, look, that looks awesome. Aurora 8. Didn't look good in one picture, but it looks awesome in another picture. Look at that, fantastic. Uh, moonrise, let's go to Moonrise. Ooh, lovely. Ooh, oh yes. I'll go with that one. So these are all plain raw, straight at my camera. Obviously, capturing the ca the image is one huge thing of photography as well. So make sure you can take a picture in the dark before you do this. There we go. I think that number one looked awesome, and I've got an astro selfie preset as well. There's just a couple of them because it's not a huge high demand thing, but it just helps. It brings out more of the clarity in the face and brings out a bit better colours. So I've only got two of them. With that one, that was of a photographer up in, up north, Kim Grant. Uh, here's Bow Fiddle Rock, which was taken on the same night. Um, right, so this is a, the Plows, the Constellations. Oh, look at that. There we go. Oh, go for this one. This was at Glen, Glencoe, Glencoe Village. Where is it? Sunrise, sunsets. So this will adjust all the, the oranges. Oh, there we go, that's quite nice actually. If you want more orangey. Nice. I kind of like. It's all personal preference as well. I kind of like that one. That one's nice and flat. Cool. I like that one. So yeah. So that's pretty much how easy it is to apply the presets to your images. So hopefully you found that pretty cool to watch because it's quite satisfying seeing a picture go from black to colourful. And hopefully. Yeah, you see the benefits of presets. As I say, I use these presets now because they're just I've they're already pre-edited by me. So I've <coughs> edited 74 or 76, whatever it was, um, images already to go. So I've pretty much Im um, adjusted all the images that I'll ever take. So they're to my standard. That's what I use for editing my images. So you'll see me probably talk about them on videos now. <coughs> And that's how I edit my pictures. Now I shall talk about how to install it because it's just a simple zip file transfer. You'll just download a zip file and just pretty much import it into whatever Lightroom you've got. So it's very simple, so I'll explain that just now. So the first thing to do is head over to my website and head over to the presets page, which will look like this. It'll have information and diagrams, before and after pictures and the preset pack will be located at the bottom of the page, like so. 
When you've read all the information and you go to purchase, a screen like this will pop up. All you simply do is put in your details and press purchase. This will take a few seconds to go through and then you'll be greeted with a screen just like this. It should go all black. There we go. And this screen pretty much indicates that you've got a digital downloads link, which will be here. It's called astropresets.zip, so I'm just circling it just now. All you do is click that and it'll start downloading a zip file to your laptop, desktop, whatever you've got. To make sure it's downloaded successfully, go to your downloads and you'll see all my presets in a zip file just like this. And when you load up your chosen Lightroom, either if it's Lightroom CC or Lightroom Classic, you go to, towards your presets area and click three dots. This will show a little drop down menu just like this. And all you do is press import presets. And then what this will do is open all your documents. So you go down to your downloads that you've just downloaded my zip file to. And make sure to click the main zip file, which will just look like that. And press import or open and it will all just take two seconds and it will just load perfectly like this and that's the presets all good to go so you can go through and edit all your pictures this is the exact same on Lightroom Classic so you'll go to your presets and press the plus icon and this will introduce a little drop down menu that says import presets and it's the exact same you open the zip file and press import or open and it'll all load up easily straight to your Lightroom. So in a couple of easy steps, you go to the website, the download link, Lightroom software, and then you import from your downloads. It's easy as that, very, very simple. I learned it the first time, very, very simple. Any questions, get in touch. So I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoy these presets, and if you do use these presets, send me the pictures that you edited, and I'd be more than happy to look at them and review them. So thank you very much for watching. Cheers.